There is often ambiguity when it comes to what is classified as child labor. So says head of the Institute of Gender and Development Studies at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Suan Barrett. Dr. Barrett explains that child labor refers to any work that impinges upon a child's freedom, dignity, or education. It's really one might imagine it as a developmental stop. And so as a child works, it's work to have experience, work to understand responsibilities different, work to gain a little small change during the holidays is different from laboring mm -hmm. continuously, which prevents you from having that freedom, that access to education and your developmental goals. Dr. Barrett shares some examples of child labor which affects their development and health. Of course, all forms of slavery. And this slavery could be domestic, it could be sexual, it could be others. We have trafficking is a form of child labor. And this is the extreme end of the, the, the spectrum. We have forced recruitment and armed conflict. And this is not just about wars. This could be in relation to gangs and gang behavior. That's also a form of labor, whether or not that child is serving as someone with arms or, you know, cooking, carrying stuff, you know, lookouts. That's a form of labor. Other forms of child labor include prostitution, pornography, drug production and trafficking and death bondage.